Die Jagd für Hitler, or in translation, The Hunt for Hitler. It's April 30th, 1945, the last few days of World War II. Underground in a bunker, the dictator of Germany, Adolf Hitler, hides. He and his wife, Eva Braun, enter a room and consume cyanide tablets. Hitler, for good measure, shoots himself in the head. But the real question is, did he really commit suicide, or did he escape? What do you believe? How many of you believe he committed suicide? How many of you believe he escaped? Well, what if I could tell you that what you have read in history books and on the internet were misleading and that he did not commit suicide? I have some compelling evidence to back up that Adolf Hitler, in fact, did not kill himself and fled to Argentina. Now, the first and foremost question is, where is all the evidence? So let's examine the facts. No one actually saw Hitler commit suicide. There are no photographs documenting a joint suicide of Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun. The Russians claim to have taken their corpses, yet why would they not have documented or taken pictures to show the world that the Fuhrer is dead? Which leads to the bodies of Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun were never recovered or preserved for proper identification. Skull fragments that the Russians had as proof that Hitler killed himself were actually a 40-year-old woman's skull fragments that were of no relation to Eva Braun. In 2009, Nicholas Bellatoni, a Connecticut state archaeologist, reported his findings that the DNA of the skull fragments were neither Hitler's or Braun's. Based on the untrue claims of the Russians and non-existent physical evidence, the factual proof of his suicide remains unsubstantiated. Along with this information, there are also conflicting stories about Hitler's suicide. I have uncovered that too many versions of what happened after Hitler's death exists to lend the credibility of suicide. One such story states that Hitler's men were ordered to burn Hitler and Eva in the garden of the Chancellery Building in Berlin, according to History.com and HistoryPlace.com. Another reported account was that the Russians, after invading the bunker, took and burned Hitler and Eva's bodies. German reports claimed that the Russians spread their ashes around so his followers would not make a monument at his final resting place. Even our high school history book skims the surface of such an historic death. Men are high school students, along with others, are given a vague, partial information about the death of one of history's notorious dictators. As stated in our sophomore history textbook, the next day, Hitler shot himself while his new wife swallowed poison. In accordance with Hitler's orders, the two bodies were carried outside, soaked with gasoline, and burned. Of the several claims, there can only be one true explanation. Which is it? However many stories there are, Hitler was traced by FBI to Argentina and searched for 11 years. If Hitler is dead, then why did the FBI investigate his whereabouts after his supposed suicide? FBI documents exist tracing Hitler to Spain and then to Argentina. A German U-530 U-boat was mysteriously reported to have surfaced off the coast of Mar de la Plata, according to documents from the National Archives. That same submarine was spotted other times dropping off German passengers. On July 18, 1945, U.S. Naval Intelligence reported to Washington that they had reason to believe that the U-boat dropped Hitler and Eva Braun off in southern Argentina. Jerome Corsi, an historian and researcher about his, Hitler's death, found a newspaper that was translated stating that Hitler and Eva Braun were being welcomed by Nazi sympathizers. Corsi and his, has evidence of a mansion in the mountain forest of Baralok that was built by Germans to replicate Hitler's Albert Salzburg retreat above the town of Bergstagen in the Bavarian Alps. After World War II, Argentina was full of German war criminals. The president of Argentina at the time, Juan Perón, protected them for he was a fascist like Hitler and supported the Axis. Finally, the FBI closed the file on Hitler in 1956. Even though there is evidence to back that Hitler did not kill himself, some evidence proven otherwise. There are some accounts that refute my argument. 
According to one of Hitler's elite bodyguards, Rokus Misch, still alive as of 2014, he was in the bunker outside the room where Hitler killed himself. He claims of hearing a gunshot and seeing the bodies after opening the door to the room. If the guard states he heard a shot and saw it was his body, then why would Joseph Stalin tell the Allied leaders in Port Stam in 1945 that he escaped to Argentina? Both U.S. and Russian government officials declared Hitler and Eva Braun's suicide, yet the FBI continued to track Hitler post-war. Documentation of the U.S. pursuing Hitler had been recently uncovered. Because the U.S. and Russia did not recover his body and desperately needed World War II to end, they lied about his suicide. As previously stated, do not believe that Hitler killed himself. There are no bodies, no pictures, no documentation, and no DNA. We have been lied to about the death of Hitler. Past and present versions in historical textbooks, history books, and other online sources depict his death as suicide, yet no concrete evidence resides. There are other sources that suggest his death was staged. There is a plethora of data and facts that I encourage you to read. For example, Hunting Hitler by Jerome R. Kosai, Ph.D., or watch the TV show called Hunting Hitler on the History Channel. By dismantling all vital information regarding Hitler's death in an historical context, generations will benefit from a complete and truthful fact surrounding the history of World War II and Hitler's death. Now what do you think? How many of you believe he committed suicide? How many of you believe he escaped?